Well, despite the weather, Taylor and I have made it here to Los Alamos, New Mexico. And this has kind of been a long time coming, a place I wanted to go to, but we just never really took the time to come visit and I don't really know why. But here we are and right behind me, as you can see right out the window here, is the original Oppenheimer house. This is something I've been wanting to come check out ever since I saw the movie Oppenheimer. And if I'm not mistaken, they actually filmed things here in this house. It's pretty cool. We're here and uh, it is raining cats and dogs, unfortunately, so I can't really, I don't know if I wanna go out and get some photos or if uh, we just need to move on. I think I'm holding up traffic though. Because <laughs> people be are trying. Point. People are just passing me. But anyway, we are here for the next couple of days in the Los Alamos Mountains here around the Valles, Valles Caldera. I don't know how you say it, but Valle Caldera, Valle Caldera, Valles Caldera. I don't know. Basically, it is New Mexico's super volcano. So we're going to have fun around here and uh, for the next couple days, or at least try to despite the rain. But I don't know. I don't really know what we're getting into up here. We'll see. Well, our drive took us through Bandelier National Monument and we are back in the National Forest here and I think we have found our campsite for the evening. Still raining, probably going to be continuing to do that for the next couple of hours, maybe even into the night, I don't really know. This is the New Mexico monsoon. Uh, it is as wonderful as it is unpredictable. But, uh, oh hey look, there's a shelter over there. That's cool. Right over there, there's a shelter. Well, you don't see that every day, but uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. Maybe will this keep me dry out of the rain? A little. Spacious. All right, well, it's uh, not as spacious as you'd want, and I think my tent is better than that, so I'm gonna go pitch that right now. All right, well, nature sort of just vetoed my plans. I was gonna set the Forerunner tent up right here in this spot. And then I got to looking at that dead tree right there, which is sort of leaning over in this area. And I'm just not feeling that lucky tonight. So we went ahead and pulled forward right over here. A little more clearing and uh, no dead trees. I don't wanna die tonight. So this is, this is the wettest I think we've ever camped in, other than that one time in Rio Doso last fall. Although to be fair, we did not pitch camp in the rain. It rained in the middle of the night, scaring us to the point we thought we were all gonna have to leave, only to realize it didn't really matter because we were in the middle of the storm no matter what. And uh, we were there for the ride. That was fun. Yeah. It wasn't this cold though. This is pretty cold. No, yeah, this is a little, a little nippy. Not bad though. I enjoy it. We'll be sure we stay warm tonight.
So as it was raining, I decided to go ahead and toss the drone into the air and take a little bit of a risk to see what shots I could get. And that really did pay off a lot. I got some really awesome photos out of that. And we also learned that there are cows in this campground. In fact, I have one coming in right now, right over there. Hello, cow, right there. Should we unleash the Sheltie to hurt him? I think he's looking for his friends because he's been calling from over there for a while and his friends, I think, are way over there. Anyway, yeah, this is our campsite. We have cows, we have rainbows, we have uh, awesome sunsets, great mountains, a little bit of rain, and uh, it's been quite the experience. I'm really happy with this trip so far. I knew it was gonna rain today. I didn't really know for how long or if it was going to clear up at all. I was kind of anticipating that it would rain all the way through the night. So we kind of went ahead and got dinner in Los Alamos a little early. That way we didn't have to do anything. We just had to pull into our camp and set up the tent and climb on in. And that seems to have uh, worked out really well because we don't want to do anything anymore. So the sun is setting. We're officially losing light. We're losing all those nice orange, creamy reds and yellows in that sky. And we're slowly turning into a blue. And uh, blue, bluish green sky with some clouds, maybe some spotty rain showers throughout the evening. But other than that, I think we're going to be calling it a day. Well, the sun has set and I have just finished up brushing my teeth, but I just can't help but feel that I am being watched. If you look carefully in the distance over here, you can see several sets of beady eyes just staring back at me. And every time I turn around, they get closer. Like this is something out of a Freddy Krueger movie or Jason whatever slasher flick. And uh, these cows, I will tell you, are very stealthy because this one has managed to get over here just right now. And I didn't even know it was there. So, yeah. Will we survive the night? Will these ninja cows murder us in our sleep? I don't know. Tune in tomorrow to find out. Well, good morning. So it is about 9.30 in the morning and we are getting ready to pack up camp and hit the road again. We're not really sure where we're gonna be going today, but uh, we got a couple options in front of us to pick from and uh, we're excited for any of it, no matter what happens. And as you can hear behind me, we also have cows still here. They have been visiting us all morning, walking through the campsite. They've gotten surprisingly close and Kenzu has actually handled it really well. This is his first interaction with other wild animals, I guess you could say. <laughs> anyway, we are wrapping up breakfast this morning and we are going to get on the road. So it's a little known fact that New Mexico has a super volcano. Usually Yellowstone kind of steals the uh, spotlight, but despite what uh, you might hear, we have one here in New Mexico and we are currently sitting on the crater rim overlooking this wonderful green caldera. And uh, I've never been here before, but it's pretty cool, really nice view. And uh, hopefully we can get in and maybe do some hiking.
So this is the Longmire cabin, otherwise known as the Old Ranch Foreman's cabin here in the Caldera. And if you guys remember the TV show Longmire, you'll remember this cabin as the cabin that Longmire lived in on his ranch. So this is yet another famous landmark from a TV series or movie. And uh, we've got two of them in this episode today. So that's pretty cool. We got the Oppenheimer house and we got the Longmire cabin. It's pretty exciting stuff. There are a lot of hidden gems around New Mexico. New Mexico is famous for a lot of movie sets over the years. And uh, if you know where to look, you can find some pretty cool things. It is getting late in the afternoon. Rain clouds are starting to move in. I can actually hear thunder. So we are going to go ahead and move out and find our campsite for the evening. We don't really have a specific spot in mind for the night. We're just, we just have an area that we want to explore and we're gonna come up with something. So let's pack it in before the rain starts coming down on us. So it is about seven o'clock right now. We just pulled into the campsite and we got the tent pitched and we got this nice view of the caldera over here. However, you can't really see too much with the trees in the way, but anyways, Taylor is making dinner here. So we're just gonna make ourselves comfortable for the evening and uh, settle in. That's just kind of sort of the crazy thing about the monsoon season here in New Mexico. One minute it is sunny, the next it is pouring cats and dogs, and then uh, another minute later it's sunny and you get a wonderful sunset. So I think Taylor and I are going to be returning to bed here this evening. We've had a long full day of traveling around this caldera. Really awesome, just absolutely incredible views. And I, I've had a lot of fun flying the drone on this trip and thankfully I have not crashed it this time. So hopefully we can keep that up for another day. But with that, I think it is time to crash for bed and we will see you guys in the morning first thing. Well, good morning. So it is about, I don't know, a little after eight. We slept in pretty late this morning. Uh, got a little chilly, but we were pretty warm last night. We threw in some extra blankets tonight and uh, I have to say it was absolutely perfect. But it did rain on us in the middle of the night at around two o'clock. So 
all the condensation in the tent is built up and everything on the outside is soaking wet. So right now I'm just waiting for the sun to slowly creep over here to the tent to dry out and then we'll be packing up. And then I have the camp chair, which was accidentally left out in the rain, which is also soaking wet, but I was able to move it out there in the sun already. So hopefully we'll get things dried out and get a move on this morning. I don't really know what we're going to do today, as I typically don't do every day. We just kind of wing it to the best of our ability and have fun, as you guys know by now. But we got a couple of options in front of us and we're excited to see where the trail goes. So stick with us and we will shortly depart from here. All right, so the plan for today, given that we're on the northern side of the caldera, we can head east, which will get us back to Española, directly there. Or we can push north and maybe find a camping spot along the Chama River. And maybe I could do some fishing. You've been waiting to do fishing for a long time. We've had your fishing pole for like a year. I've never featured it on the channel either. <laughs> no, you haven't been able to use it. Every time we go somewhere, it's not a good fishing spot. Yeah, all right, so north it is. Let's go. We have made it to our camp for the night. This is our last night on this little expedition. And I have to say, never having been here before, we did pretty good. So we have a front row seat to the Chama River, Rio Chama. And uh, we're gonna get the uh, tent set up and we now have Rolling Thunder moving in as well too. So we're gonna get moving on that. But uh, it is significantly warmer, we dropped a huge amount of elevation coming off that mountain. And uh, it is probably a cozy 82 degrees right now, whereas we were coming from probably a, a nice, cool 65, 70. So it is noticeable, uh, but maybe this rain will cool things off, but we got a nice view of the river. I'm gonna try some fishing later this evening. And uh, the dog is already out and enjoying himself here. And uh, I think I'm gonna try and do the same. No, you bring me your ball. <laughs> well, this is our final morning 
on our journey as it comes to a close. So we are packing up and getting ready to head out. It has been a very awesome three days and I have a puppy here pestering me to throw a ball. And uh, yeah, it's been really awesome. It, we've had fantastic weather. I love all the rain we got. I know a lot of people don't like camping in the rain. I kind of like it. I don't think we get enough of it out here in the desert. So it's always nice when we do. But with that, all journeys come to an end and we are getting ready to head back home to get back to our normal lives and uh, see what adventure awaits us next. what did you think of this trip? It was good. Some of the night sleeps were a little rough. Um, I had allergies all night last night, so it's fun. It's just being down in the valley, that happens. But got to see some cool stuff, got to be away from people. And before we head back home, we want to see if we can get some uh, wolf berries. Maybe make a jam out of them. That would be nice. Yeah, so on our way into this campsite along the trail, we found a bunch of wolf berries growing along the river. And uh, I don't see any here in our campsite, but as we backtrack out, I think we're gonna try and pick all that we can. Yeah, I need to throw this. I need to throw this. So we are searching for berries. Now we spotted this spot on our way into our campsite last night as we were searching for a campsite, but this one did not make the cut because it was not near the water, but we did kind of come down these roads very tight and squeeze through and maybe got some pinstripes on the Forerunner. Eh, I don't know. But this is what we're looking for right here. All those berries. Well, that took us, I don't know, like an hour. It's been a while. <laughs> We've been out here picking these. But uh, we now have over two cups worth of wolf berries. And we're thinking maybe mash them up, put them in a jam, or make a syrup out of them. We'll see. Don't know yet. Well, that basically wraps up our entire journey. We are now going to be headed home yet again. And uh, we're all pretty excited to get back to uh, the house and uh, get back to everything else we got going on. We got a lot, a lot of things planned in the future coming up, and you guys will find out more in the coming months. But um, yeah, this was an awesome trip. What do you think? It was good. Yeah. First time we ever did wild harvesting. Wild harvesting, lots of rain. It was really awesome. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Super huge thank you to uh, all of our Patreons who pitch in to help us do these sort of projects. It means a lot. And if you're wanting to support our channel, go ahead and check out our Patreon page where you can help support us and uh, keep the adventure going, keep the uh, fuel in the tank, so to speak. So with that in mind, thanks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.